Welcome back to news across Nigeria. Over 50 shops were destroyed in a market fire in Kanu State. Before we proceed, we'd like to remind you that all our top stories, such as that one, can be found on our website, channelstv.com, and on youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. Visit m.channelstv.com to view us live on your mobile device. You can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. We'd also like to urge you to please interact with the Eyewitness feature in the Channels TV app on the Android, iOS, and Windows platforms. If you have pictures or videos you'd like to share with us, tap the application on your device, swipe to reveal the Eyewitness menu, and follow the instructions. The program is all about informing you on what's happening across Nigeria. Now, here's you telling us what you've seen. Some pictures courtesy our eyewitness portal. We begin with this one. It's coming from Lagos State in the southwestern region of Nigeria. It shows a high voltage electric wire dangling from an electricity pole. The eyewitness is calling on relevant authorities to fix the wires before an accident and an electrocution occurs. This next photo was sent in from Waf Road in Kaduna State, the northwest. It shows this overladen tricycle and its rider attempting to cross a major road junction. The eyewitness is calling on the Federal Road Safety Corps to apprehend and prosecute those who flout traffic regulations. To the southeast where this, uh, from where this photo was sent from Uwiri, it shows a commercial tricycle partially squashed by a truck along the Onicha Oweri Highway. The eyewitness warned state authorities to stop tricycles from operating along this route. Never mind what could have happened to the person that was riding it. Thank you for sending in these pictures. Please do keep them coming. And now we will go back to the south south part of the country. It's almost a day to the Bielsa State governorship elections as people vote in their new governor or retain the incumbent. The state is agog with activity as everyone makes last-minute preparations before the police restriction and movement kicks in. Our correspondent, Shimwa Kimbale, is in Bielsa. He joins us live to give us an update on what's happening. Shimwa? Yeah, Good to have you on News Across Nigeria, Shimwa. You were saying that you, people are doing last-minute shopping. They want to beat the 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, non-movement uh, by the order uh, instituted yeah. by the Nigeria police, the Inspector General of Police. What can you tell us of what's happening now? All right, thank you, Olumide. Um, there was a press conference earlier today by the Nigerian military, precisely by the Commandant of uh, what they call Operation Pulo Field. Uh, Operation Pulo Field is the uh, what uh, has taken over the uh, the mandate of uh, the JTF. You remember what they call the Joint Task Force of uh, all the sister security institutions in Nigeria. They are in charge of monitoring what is happening in the security situation within the Niger Delta region. Um, there was a press conference where we were told five suspected political thoughts have been arrested by the, okay, by the military. And they had weapons, ammunition, and bullets that have been recovered from them. And so um, this, the military is telling us that there's an assurance that security is going to be tried for the election across the waters, within the perimeters of the state, in and out of the state. And so that was uh, the latest that happened today. I mean, we are within to the police headquarters, where we've seen um, the remaining um, police officers that have been deployed for the particular election. But above all, in, in and around the state, uh, every local government you get to, you see that sense of the preparation that sense of uh, people trying to uh, re get ready and get set for the election of tomorrow. Bankers, uh, traders, marketers, all of them 
uh, putting time and touches to whatever they needed to do ahead of tomorrow. Shion, concerning electoral material, earlier you are reporting the dearth of uh, permanent voter cards for some members of the electorate. What's the position now? Yeah, we still find a few people still trying to see if they can get their uh, permanent voter cards. Um, people are still going to the INEC offices uh, within the state and their works and wherever they see that they can get their permanent voter card. A few people still do not have their permanent voter cards. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is the D day, and a lot of them are afraid that they may not be able to vote despite the fact that uh, they registered, but unfortunately, they've not been able to lay hold on their, on their uh, permanent voter cards. How do you think, Shion, this restriction of vehicular movement in Bielsa State will impact the elections, given the logistical uh, challenge of Bielsa having many riverine areas which cannot be accessed but by boat transport? Well, I mean, this is, one, this is one peculiarity uh, for the state, which, of course, um, uh, the, the military, the security authorities have said that they have made available gunboats to secure um, uh, the, the, the materials for the election and start their going to work uh, for the election. So, uh, in terms of security on the waters, across the waters, and uh, in the coastal areas, uh, they make sure that all of them, those things are secure. But basically, you know, the military and the security operators said they've locked down, um, most, they will lock down most of the entrance. Because we know that from 6 a.m., there will be a restriction of movement uh, within uh, entering and that exit of the state, there's going to be restrictions of movement. Thank you so much, Shion. Our political correspondent, Shion Okimbaloye, in Bielsa State, uh, giving us a uh, heads up on the situation concerning preparedness of INEC, the security preparedness of the agencies. He said, amongst other things, that there was a meeting concerning the Operation Pulo Shield, who assisted in uh, security operations, uh, five, five suspected thugs, political thugs, were arrested and ammunition uh, and weapons were recovered from them and tight security was assured uh, by the security agencies. Shimu also spoke of uh, permanent voter cards and the, not a significant number, but for, for people who did not have them, they were still being seen trying to get theirs in a last ditch attempt. Otherwise, he said everything is honky-dory and the situation uh, concerning the Bielsa elections is green. From there, we will turn our attention to the north and part of the country. Over 50 shops perished, destroyed that is, and property worth millions of naira burnt to ashes after a fire outbreak hit the popular Abubakar Rimi market in Savon Giri in Kanu. Eyewitnesses told our correspondent that the fire started from furniture and some parts of the pharmaceutical section of the market. Although authorities are yet to react to the incident, as at the time of the inferno, traders told Channels TV that there was no loss of life or injury from the fire outbreak. It took extra assistance from a Chinese company around the area to bring this blaze under control. The inferno that engulfed the drug section of the Sevangari market in Kano State is described by the traders as mysterious, as no one knows how it started. What eyewitnesses are sure about is that the fire started at about 7 p.m. on Thursday and it raged for over 30 minutes before the firefighters arrived too late, as over 50 shops belonging to patent medicine dealers were destroyed before the fire spread to the furniture section. I saw people run here, but when I came, I found out the fire incident is too much. It started from this Katako uh, uh, firewood people. Hundreds waited outside, anxious to know if their shops were affected. Most were well on their way when it all began, 
as the market closes early evening. They wondered how it all began, as there was no electricity. There is no electrical uh, uh, electricity in the market, and all of a sudden we were told that the, uh, there is fire outbreak in the market. We cannot be able to tell because there is no uh, Nepal light in the in the market. Chairman of the National Association of Patent Medicine Dealers urged his members to be patient while investigations continue into the matter. We just have an information that I tried just in the market. We are now trying to put it off. We understand that the uh, law security agent, the police and all our people are trying their best. While they may hear the words of the chairman, it's no less devastating for hundreds of traders who have lost millions of naira to the inferno. <laughs> Residents are concerned about the incidences of fire in Kano State. As barely three days ago, several students were killed when the school hostel was burnt. A desperate appeal has gone out to the state government to put in place better safety measures in markets and other public places. Coming up, the Imo State Police Commander have apprehended a man suspected to have attacked a customs officer. Details in just a moment. Please stay with us. Welcome to the Channels TV app for the Nokia Lumia phone. Click on the Channels TV icon to get started. Get the latest news and stories and you can also watch us live by clicking on the live TV icon. We have the eyewitness section so you can post events happening around you. To do that, click on the post. Select change media to send an 